We did a lot of putting around looking for sign, found some rubs. Uh, just kept pounding the area with this wind. We had to just hammer every draw. I know we didn't get a lot of that on video, but uh, for what little you do see, there's a whole lot you don't when we're trying to locate these bulls. probably about 400 yards on the other side of the canyon at one point which is where we first picked up um, fresh fresh rubs fresh you know rut activity so we just kept cir circling this area and kept finding more and more sign and just poking our heads in these little draws and canyons and finally came down to the end of this little ridge line so we found some pretty good rubs up the hill a little ways a little earlier <clears throat> so we've just been picking this be the south side of this ridge line we're on picking it apart on our way down I think once we get to the bottom we'll just pick it apart on the way back up this road this road goes down a ridge all the way to the end it's about three miles long so um, there's a there's a bull working this ridge so he's on one side or the other more than likely so uh, that's where we're at we're just uh, slowly working our way down the first part of it we'll get to the bottom come back up bugle down in the bottom of the canyon there like I said it's been windy and you know it's, uh, it's hard to hear and, but uh, sat there for about 10 minutes and he just he screamed right at me Sounds pretty odd. Yeah, let's poke around and see what happens. We really weren't even ready. So we had to get our boots on, get get all ready to go. And got in here, I did one more bugle. And he was on his way. He's come screaming in just, and this is thick jack furs, which I prefer not to hunt, but, um, cause they, you know, a lot of times they can just come right in on top of you, you not even get a shot. And uh, luckily I had a little bit of, a little bit of room there. Could see one way about 15 yards, the other way about maybe 10 yards. Luckily he came in and stopped right in the opening and I couldn't really see the vitals real well but because uh, there was some fur, fur limbs in the way but the soft portion of the fur limb but I could see right where that quarter and two shot would be and uh, I laced it right through there. I heard him run off and uh, within five minutes I think we heard him hit the ground or so.
Seems like forever, but um, and then it was just wait, listen, wait, listen. Crawled in here a little bit to maybe get another arrow in him if he's still, you know, kicking around a bit. But by the time we got here, it was over. Happy birthday, Corey. <laughs> Boom! Mm. Thank Corey for being here, filming. Oh, thank the Destination Elk crew for giving us an opportunity to uh, share a platform with them. It's great, last year we didn't do so hot but uh, had some weather challenges and we got it done this time punched 